This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. Uh, about five minutes ago, uh, two men here on the terrace of the uh, Say Park Shopping Center uh, just fired a gun and uh, scared away all the birds in their nightly feeding. Um, that is really illegal. And uh, that is not acceptable. When I get home, I will uh, call the police and at least put that on record. Uh, Charlie did come down and I gave him something to eat and there was a seagull that looked very sick. Uh, had trouble flying and breathing very hard. Uh, they're definitely, to me, it looked like a poisoning. It definitely looked like a poisoning. So, you can see the field is empty and uh, I have been uh, stalked by three cars in the last 10 minutes while I was feeding the birds. Is this place crazy, YouTubers? Is, it, is this a crazy place? Are the people crazy here? <laughs> For feeding birds, it's minus two Celsius out here, and it's probably gonna be like minus four tonight. Um, and it's very cold, and the ground is hard, like a rock. Um, I don't know what they're supposed to eat, but I have to say that that poor, uh, poor seagull, something was very, very wrong. Um, certainly not for my food. There is someone threw out something here that's bad, and I'm wondering why my, uh, my crows and the amount of seagulls I counted less than 50, there are a total of 52 that come here and have for the last, um, since, uh, since the beginning of October. Sometimes the flock has um, fluctuated in size um, when, when the weather has been colder. Uh, oddly enough, uh, these are the coldest days we've had so far and the group of seagulls has diminished, uh, which is very strange and odd to me. But that seagull, uh, her breathing was really, really heavy. Um, there was something wrong with her. And that's indicative, indicative of, uh, of a poisoning. So, uh, yeah, and she had trouble flying. Uh, she's toward the end. But they are poisoning here on the rooftops. And also they're throwing poison down here. Uh, in the last um, uh, five, six days, I've cleaned up the Migros parking lot twice already from uh, poisoned food. And the seagulls are usually the first to get it. And she was a mature female. Um, I don't think she's going to make it. Not, not at the rate that she's breathing. So, uh, it is really, really sad. I, I don't know, YouTubers, if you can understand uh, how difficult it is, the odds against these birds surviving in the wild. If you look at the data, a bird that's been raised by man and um, has been held captive lives so much longer. It usually lives out its full lifespan compared to a bird in the wild, especially in an urban environment like this. And I say urban because 90% of the habitat of these birds has diminished, at least since I've been here in the last 10 years. And I think you could probably go back to 15, 20 years in total. But the last five or six years, it's been really, really heavy. Um, so. Uh, that is just uh, that is just um, a sign of uh, of what's going on here, uh, and it's just it's just really really bad. Um, it's I don't know what to say. Like I said, it's very difficult for these birds. Uh, you know, the the female lays the eggs, and then they have to survive that. And the predators and and all kinds of you know environmental uh, and uh, you know storms and this and that, uh, and then of course man, and uh, they have to they have to survive all of that. 
And this was a mature female. Uh, she was at least uh, two, three, maybe four years old. And that's there, there are very few large gulls here. Most of them are very young. And what does that tell you? It tells, you, it tells me that they're not surviving very long in the wild uh, because they're all in starvation. And these people here just don't get it. They are the most selfish group of people uh, that I have ever, have ever lived in any state in the U.S. and including Germany. These are the most dangerous and selfish people I have ever encountered here in Kreuzlingen. Really. And I'm going to keep saying it. Village of the damned. It, it really is. Imagine, imagine doing all this. Poisoning birds, okay? Attacking me physically and verbally. Stalking me. Uh, the police are harassing me. All for having this small feeding station. Okay? Because they don't want the birds pooing on their concrete and their roofs and this and that. Um, but it's okay for the people to defecate here on the field here and uh, pee and the dogs poo and pee and the foxes poo and, and everyone else, everything else allowed. And the people throw their cigarettes and their trash. There is so much trash. I pick up trash every morning here. It is unbelievable how much trash there is. And um, yeah, it's really scary. It's really scary, but that is okay. Human beings can do that. At least the people here in Kreuzlingen, they can do that, and that's okay, okay? Cigarettes have cadmium in them and uh, goes into our groundwater. It's poisonous. Sometimes the birds eat the cigarette butts. It is unbelievable. And here, this shopping center, managed by Gerhard Lang, who said he would kill each and every bird. I mean, that is just so typical. That is just so typical. And we have Hayfully over here, who attacked me physically, um, which I keep going over and over, bruised my arms, held me against the wall uh, like a terrorist, pinned me against the wall, two big brutes, okay? Um, I, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to send this link to, to Hayfully and hope they look at it and, and see what they did. Because, I mean, is that just insane? Is that insane? I mean, in America, they would come and they would handcuff them and take them away for assault and battery. And, uh, and here, the police said to me, you got what you deserved, basically. That's, that's, that's what he meant. That's what he, that's what he said. That's how I interpret it. Okay, he, he thinks I deserved what, what I got. It is unbelievable. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. So another feeding uh, session spoiled and a sick bird, obviously. So yeah, they're poisoning here and I can't watch them every, every second. But um, I will let the police know that uh, a gun was fired here off the terrace and um, two men and uh, yeah so anyway uh, this is DC Danton Crow Crusader over and out and uh, I gotta get home and I gotta call the police and uh, yeah so I will talk to you tomorrow I got a lot of videos to upload ton of them if uh, the uh, new apartment looks like uh, like a tornado hit it uh, and I'm trying to get some kind of, you know, order, uh, but it's very hard to do with feeding the birds and, um, and uh, maintaining my safety while I'm feeding them, okay? So, anyway, this is DC Danton Crow Crusader over and out.